There is a lot going on in the game right now. We just had the new Chewy event and we had Django release a few weeks ago. Some reworks have been happening and the game is in a great place overall. But let's talk about what's going to happen in the future. First things first, why is Night Sister Spirit the login character? Well, if you are a Star Wars aficionado and you watch everything Star Wars, read everything Star Wars, you will know that in the Clone Wars TV series, the Separatists, led by General Grievous, attack Dathomir on orders of Count Dooku. The Night Sisters could be a threat. They want to get rid of Asajj because she was Dooku's former apprentice. He was ordered to kill. She didn't actually die. It's a long story. But with General Grievous being the one to attack Dathomir and Night Sister Spirit being the login character, we don't have any other Night Sisters to farm. They're not going to give us any shards, I don't think, to Talia, Talzin, Asajj, Night Sister, Old Daka, you know, some event that they're having us use the Night Sister spirit for. I think it's a lead in to what we're going to be getting. I'm a little late to the party on this because almost every person that YouTube's uh, Galaxy of Heroes has said this that General Grievous is getting a rework. There are so many people that have wanted this for so long. In the TV series, Dooku, Talzin starts torturing Dooku through some dark magic from afar, and he's in utter pain, and he orders Grievous to go kill her. He kill, Grievous kills old Daka, Talzin gets away. He is the main, you know, antagonist in those episodes. I think it's only logical that General Grievous is a rework. The other time you really see the Night Sister Spirits is in Star Wars Rebels, when Maul takes Ezra to Dathomir to complete uh, a ritual so they can see the visions that they were looking for. He wanted to find out where Obi-Wan was, and Ezra saw the same thing. And the spirits possessed Kanan and Sabine. Maul got away, wanted to keep take Ezra with him. He said, no, he saved him. That was the only other time. So some of that could lead to maybe a Darth Maul, mechanical leg Darth Maul coming in but i really think it's going to be the general grievous rework it's a rework that we need i think he could be a dominant character in the game he could make droids great again and i'm interested to see what they're going to do with him so in that respect you know not a lot of people have grievous geared up at all because he's a crappy character you should start getting him to seven stars though in my opinion you can find him in the shard store for those later game play uh players you know, just buy pieces of shards and equipment from the Galactic War and Cantina store. Use those to get your shard shop currency up there and start farming him, please, because I think this is the rework that's going to be coming. But again, it could be Mechanical Legs Mall. Grievous, I think, would be great, though. Now on to something more pressing. What is the next legendary character coming out that we are going to need characters for? Well, there are a few options, but I'm going to tell you to be safe right now, to be on the safe side of everything. We are going to look at the Old Republic characters. Revan is the most anticipated character in the entire game. People have wanted him since it started. I mean, there's been lots of rumors they thought last February was maybe going to come out. We're going to need these Old Republic characters for something in the future. I don't think these ones will be required for Revan right away because we still have Cartho Nassi, who was a main character, Candorous Ordo. There's many more characters that were part of his crew that are going to need to come out, in my opinion. But please, for all that is good and holy, be farming these characters. I have spent crystals after crystals farming these characters on refreshes because I think they're going to be that important. Bastila and Jolie, I almost have to seven star. Yes, I've spent a ridiculous amount of time farming them. What's great is Mission and T3 you can find in the Cantina store. Or Cantina Battles, excuse me. So please be farming them out of the Cantina Battles. This is, this is something you need to be doing. If you're in the middle of farming a character that you just want to get to 7 stars, stop immediately. Farm these characters. You can find Bastila in two spots. This is nice. You can find her in the Fleet Battles and the Dark Side Hard Nodes. And they've actually lowered the refresh to 25 crystals. So it's cheaper to be able to get more of her shards again each day. I, I, I panic farm these, basically. Jolie, you can find in the fleet battles as well. 4E and 60 dark side. 
now we'll look at... Oh, I didn't mean to X out of there. Sorry. Now we will look at Zalbar. Zalbar is another character that needs to be found in the fleet battles in light side hard nodes. Again, memorize these characters, ingrain them in your brain, farm them like Revan is coming out tomorrow because they are going to be needed for something. Also, the Ebon Hawk, which I actually really enjoy ships. There's some people in this game that either hate ships or love ships. I love it. And I think they're only going to get better. I think we could have a raid or some type of legendary event like we did for the Chimera for a new capital ship. And these guys just are speaking to me saying the Ebon Hawk's coming to the game. And I love that ship the way it is. So, please, please be farming the Old Republic characters. It will prepare you for what's coming in the future. Now, some people wanted to see how I am modding my current arena team with, I'm running a CLS, Han Solo, Chewy. I just got Chewy Zeta yesterday, so this is awesome. CLS, I'm running a crit damage set, and with some speed in the secondaries. I'm not gonna go through all of them, you know, big time, because you guys know, speed in the secondaries with crit damage and uh, some offensive, bonus offense as well. The character that I really want to focus on is Han. But before we do that, let's look at R2-D2. Because again, I've spoken this in the last two videos on the JTR and on how to mod R2-D2. I want him sending as much offense as possible to the rest of the team. So I have him with a bunch of offensive primary stats. Now, I want you guys to help me on this. I want the viewers to see what you think. I'm going to show you the mods I have on Han. I have him loaded, okay? I have him 6 dot offensive mods, 8.5% offense, 8.5% offense. They're crit damage set, obviously, but offense in the primary. 42% crit damage, 8.5% offense, and then health, and then this is defense. It'll go up when I 6 dot it. Should I be putting these mods on R2-D2 so he can spread more of those stats to everybody else because 10% of his stats go, or do I keep him on hot? I'm going to show you the damage he can deal when I go into battle here. We'll look at Chewy. Chewy with his Zeta is so much better. I got this done yesterday, and it's already a big difference against those Treya teams. It's a basic crit damage set, some good speed secondaries with a crit damage in the primary. Again, those of you that like, you know, crit damage sets, crit chance mods would be another good set to have in there. I just don't farm them as much. It's something I should start farming. Now, I switch off between a few characters in the fourth spot. Sometime it's G General Kenobi, because he's an awesome tank. I found that I'm not as effective with Old Ben, although some people put him in there. I run Thrawn a lot because Fracture is amazing. Still the best character in the game. And L337. I have I don't have her leveled up yet. There are a lot of great YouTubers out there and just looking at it myself that say this is a great character to run in there because the turn meter that she can give. I haven't used her yet, but she is somebody I'm going to use. So that is something to think about if you're going to be farming characters to run with this team. We'll go in, we'll do a battle here. Actually, overnight, with the defensive team I've put in here, I actually forgot a character that I put on put in for defense. I usually switch back to my Palpatine team for defense because I found that this team drops so much. I don't have Treya. When I get Treya, we are getting so much closer. 22 shards so far. I'll be using a Treya team still. And I'm close to using a Bastila team sometimes anyway because I love that team. But this team can tear through people. I run Ness because I feel like she's awesome when it comes def to defense. I have her really fast. I put Thrawn speed mods on her. She's at a 303 speed. And we will go in and we'll do a battle here. Let's see, who should I take out? I don't worry necessarily about waiting for people's payouts because all of those have passed. Let's go after Dirt Digger here. And this is the team I'm going to use. Nest, Han, Chewy, R2, Commander Luke Skywalker. Han always goes first. Who's the first person we should stun? We want to stun Scion, in my opinion, in this case. Uh, you know what? I'm not thinking a stun. I'm thinking of tearing through people. Let's tear right through Treya. Look at that. Look at how much damage. Let's give everybody days. Whew. And Nest has guard. Nest has guard, which in my opinion is huge in this case. Yeah, you usually want Commander Luke Skywalker to have it. But Nest is going to be going so often 
that I think that's actually beneficial. Get rid of that on Sith Trooper. Can I get a stun here on Scion? I can. This is nice. We're going to finish off Treya with big hit there. Let's give crit chance up to everybody. Who or should we attack? I don't want Thrawn to fracture somebody. Most people would say attack Scion. Let's just go like this. Crit chance. Now let's stun Thrawn. Watch, we're going to stun Thrawn. Oh, wait, he is taunt. Dang it. That's okay. We'll just use a basic this time. Let's get all those, all those. Assist. Oh, dang it. That's okay. I still think I'm going to be able to tear through him. Look at that. This is what you can do with this lineup. Simply just tear through people. Let's stun Thrawn. Get rid of him. And let's take out Nihilus in the back. All of these assist. I have to finish off you, I guess. And the damage that is coming out. Guys, I tore through that team with ease. It's a Treya team. I'm using Nest. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot of fun. And when I can get days off and prevent turn meter from coming, it's even better in my opinion. So I wanted to show you how I run that team. If any of you have any ideas of other teams I should run, um, other people I should put into that lineup, let me know. I will do it. I'll give you a shout out. Say, hey, we're going to try this team. I'm limited because I don't have a test account, but I will definitely figure it out. Again, why the Knight Sisters? Sister Spear, the login character, General Grievous, or Mechanical Legs Maul. Then we have Farm the Old Republic characters and some good arena battles there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash the subscribe button, like the video, click the notification bell, and leave comments in the comment section below. I want to know what you guys think. I'm going to put a link to my Discord server and Patreon page in the description below. Discord server is getting better every day. We have over 150 people in there. There's constant communication. I love it. It's awesome. So... Be prepared for many more videos to come. Peace out and may the forest be with you.